Hi YouTube, I'm back with another video today and today I have the AMD Athlon 880K unbox and I'm going to do an install as well. And you might be thinking, this isn't a massive box. Oh, look at it, that's the 840. What, why is the box so bigger? And that's because it comes with a cut down version of the Wraith cooler, which is um, rated at to 125 TDP. I've um, been looking at some reviews of that Wraith cooler as well, and on an 8 core AMD processor running at 4 gigahertz, it's managed to keep it at you know the max 70, but just at temperatures that are acceptable. So you don't have to go out and buy a new cooler straight away. You probably will want to because of the looks, but you don't have to straight away. So I'm going to try and do some overclocking with this as well, because it's a 95 what TDP chip um, and I'm just thinking if it's rated to 125 let's see if we can hit maybe 4 4.5 uh, gigahertz maybe 4.4 4.5 now back to the processor it is um, a 4 gigahertz base clock with a boost to 4.2 running on the Gaveri platform it's an FM2 plus chipset loads of new FM2 chips coming at the, uh, at the moment and I think they're going to be the last sort of um, uh, chips that are running on the older architecture until we get the much um, anticipated Zen at the end of the year so that's enough about me talking about the product let's take an unboxing have a look and i'm also going to install it on my motherboard as well for you so first let's take a closer look around the box and it's definitely different from the last few white boxes i've ever got this nice black and the green as well we've got the amd athlon 880k for desktop processor amd logo athlon again there around the side of the box as well it's the same same sort of stuff and there we go all the chips out let's hide it should we hide it and then at the top here you have the X4 880K Athlon processor with a 4.2 gigahertz max turbo and the 4 gigahertz stock clock. I should always put this knife next to my desk because I always pause to go and find my knife. Axe knife, how cool is that? So let's go in from the top. So we know there's going to be a big cooler in here. Definitely big. Bigger and better cooler waiting for this to turn up a week i thought it turned up yesterday but it was a washing line how disappointing was that right let's put that to one side so i've just had to uh, cut the video out for a second and this is a tip for anyone this is why you're watching the unboxing anyone that's taking this cooler out make sure you take the plastic tray out with it because normally they have a bit of plastic that goes over the bottom which covers the paste can you see i've just nicked it with my fingers there so you need to make sure you sort of probably tip it out onto your hand and take it out that way so here is the, I'm going to hold this, not from the bottom now, so here is the cooler, and how much of an improvement is that? It's got a 92mm fan on it, which is rated up to 3000 RPM from what I've seen on a review, but probably about 15 to 1800s where you're going to find that it gets a bit noisy, um, and it hasn't got the shroud around it, that's why it has this uh, sort of plastic with the AMD logo, but like we said, look, massive improvement, we've got the four metal heat pipes would have been lovely to see if this cable was braided as well um that is a four pin as well it's a pwm fan so you can set it up like that and where the slots line up here to the fan as well you will be able to replace this 92 millimeter fan so if you wanted to put something on like i don't know maybe a notchua or some other bits and bobs you'll be able to do that too so let's just show you it compared to so this was the 840 Right, you can see the difference. Now, on some of the um, more higher-end processors, they do come with a bigger heat sink, but they still have this crappy 72mm or whatever it is fan on it. So this is definitely a massive improvement. Oh, I'm, I'm in awe at it. I know, it's just a stock cooler, Troy. Why, should, why are you that impressed with it? Because it's loads better. It's what they should be. It's what all processors should come with it, a bare minimum. So, enough looking at the cooler. Make sure you're careful when you take it over the box because you end up with thermal paste all over your hand. So next we have the AMD box. Ooh. Is there anything in here? So we've got the Athlon sticker. So you can put that on your case if you want. That's it. Oh, there's a manual in here. We've got some stuff about the manual as well, which will be about how to put the heat sink on and probably all that jazz. Yeah, there we go. How to put the heat sink on. These are really easy. I'm going to show you how to put, put the heat sink on in a minute. And then we have the chips. There we go, the Athlon FM2. It's got a code on it. And then the PG array. Ah, see, now this, this they've done properly. This is how the bottom of the case should have been covered. See, now this is, you can slide it out and get to the processor like that. There you go. And there's all the pins on the pin grid array. So, shall we get this installed? 
Here we have my Asus A60 HM Plus. Now I'm not too sure if you can overclock on this motherboard yet. Um, but like I said, I've got a new motherboard coming out in a few weeks. If you want to see that, go over to the channel. Um, but if I can overclock, I will as well. I will do the basic on this with um, the uh, cut down Wraith cooler. But I am sort of tempted to want to do, because I want to do sort of two or three different overclocks to do it all on the same motherboard so we can see the difference. So you need to take, see that it's got the little triangle pin, lift the arm up. This is just for anyone that's never done this before. Most of you know what we're doing. And place it down. So there we go. And put the arm down. Now the cooler goes straight onto the stock adapter. And I'm going to have the folding arm down on this side. Always like to have it down on this side. So you just need to line it up into place. And you see there's these two pins either side. So just put one pin over. And then just push the other one down. So we go, you've got the show you here there's a pin there because probably can't see it from the side and then this one you push down onto that pin and then you just oh, I should just lock it down ah lock it down this way push it back that way and there you go it is in place and you can then finally finish off by installing your fan cable which I'm probably going to cable tie up and put down like that So here it is, all in my um, custom painted case as well. So if you haven't seen that, go and have a look at the channel. I cut this window out myself for anyone that hasn't seen it. Um, and it does look nice in there. I think if you put a nice uh, fan on it, maybe coloured to suit, you'd be really happy with it. Um, currently, temperature wise, I'm getting about 38 degrees idle. That's just through my uh, motherboard software. I haven't done a real temp yet, um, but I will put a real temp in the description. And I'm just updating my BIOS as well. So we'll see if that makes a change. But overall, I'm really happy with it. Oh, I can't wait to fire this up and get it going. Um, I don't think I can overclock on my motherboard. Might have mentioned that earlier in the video. So we are going to be waiting. I've got a new motherboard and a new case coming out in the next few weeks as well. So if you want to see all those videos, if you want to see me benchmark it at multiple clock speeds, if you want to see me gaming on it with my uh, GTX 950 and also whatever upcoming cards, I want to see the Pascal versus Polaris to see what we've got. The only way you can do that is to go over to the channel. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.